We're back at Scarborough. This time we're chasing 900. Let's get to it. Spin it. All right, DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Uh, Bunky here, and we're back to Chasing 900. Uh, we've had two iterations of this already, so this will be our third round. Uh, we're two for two so far. Maybe I'm setting the benchmark a little too low, but I think I'm setting it a lot low here. Uh, we're at Scarborough. I would consider this uh, one of my home courses, one of the two that I play more regularly than the other ones. So... Uh, I usually play this one pretty well. I looked up on UDisc, the last tournament, which was a Scarborough Scorcher. I missed that one, unfortunately. But anyway, um, I'm going to play short to short here. The line is par, even par. 56 uh, was 903 rated in that tournament. So shooting a 56 here, um, which is, I think is par. I have to look that up. I'll let you know. Uh, shooting par here is a 900 rated round. Every stroke is 12 points difference, plus or minus, depending on where we go. So the line I want to hit today is even par, but if I'm not shooting par here, short to short, there's something wrong. <laughs> I'm usually like three under. So uh, we'll see. What is that? 940 rated, something like that. So let's see. Let's see how close we can get to 950. So let's get to it. All right, this is hole number one, and I just looked it up, and it's 50, par 54, so it's plus two is 900 rated, which seems really weird to me, but that's what we'll play. That's what uh, PDGA scored it as, so hole number one, wide out in the open, uh, elevated tee box, uh, about 303 feet or so, uh, OB to the left there, you see some pillars to the left of the, of the, of the pin, uh, that is OB, so you want to stay right, if anything. I'm going to throw my Mockingbird here. I'm going to lay it out to the right and let it drift left. Just like that. Go. Keep going. Yeah, that should be a putt. Let's go get it. I guess about a 20-footer here. Start us off. Good bit of wind today. All right, we'll take that. Start off nice with a birdie. And move on to hole number two. All right, hole number two, 219 feet straight out in the open here. Uh, there's a stream to the left of this OB right beyond, just to the left of that big log laying next to the basket. I'm going to throw my Dillo here. Hopefully I'm in frame. I watched the last video the where I turned my camera around so the better camera is taking the picture and the difference is just noticeable so I don't see the I don't see the picture right now on my camera it's facing the other way so I don't know if I'm in frame so I'm sorry I'm trying to frame them the best that I can but my head may be cut off right now so you see a talking body sorry okay I'm using my Dillo I've been turning this one over a lot but I'm going to use it anyway um it's the straightest flying putter that I have. Taking my time, learning my lessons from my other rounds. Get better every round. Okay, yeah, that's pretty short. I baby this one a lot, but uh, that'll be a long putt. Let's go see if we can get it. All right, so we have about a 37, 38-footer here for birdie. Um, cold front moving in. It's been windy all day. Big snort, snowstorm coming in tonight. Uh, it's calmed down a little bit. There's still a little bit of breeze. I have a little bit of a headwind here. Let's see if we can get this. Nope. Got to trust that one out to the right, left more. I'm going to go put that in for par. All right, we're one under through two on the hole three. Let's go. All right, this one's only 166 feet. Very narrow gap. I always struggle with where to set the camera up here. I think that's the best spot, but I'll try to get out of the way. 
so you can see the flight. I don't know if you can or not. I'm gonna do the Dillo here. Last time I was here, I forehanded my I forehanded my horny toad. Oh, I do want to try that again. Now I think I'm gonna stick with the Dillo here. Just try shoot something straight. Uh, right to left wind. So I want this to put this up and let it fade to the left a little bit. That's my most open shot. Oh, that was sneaky route. Haha, <laughs> kicked the tree at the last minute. Let go of that one too soon. I think it's really tough for you to appreciate just how downhill this is from the camera angle. But my head is at the bottom of the pole. So, whereas this is probably like a, I don't know, 30, 30 footer, it probably plays more like a 40, 45 footer. Oh, so close. So close. All right. Not bad. I'll take that. Not a bad par here. Like, this isn't one that I'm like, I have to have the birdie on this one. Like, uh, one, two is a must-have birdie. One is not. Two is a must-have birdie. I missed that one. But this one's like a 50-50. So, another must-get is coming right up. All right, 175-footer. Uh, they're all par threes, by the way. That's why it's a 54, par 54. Um, you can probably see the top of the basket from where you are. I'm going to throw my blue bonnet here. Just keep it left and let it fade back right is the game here. Yeah, that's it. Should be like a 20, 25 footer. Okay. Or a 15 footer. All right. Two down through four. I'll take it. On hole five. All right, 201 footer. We got a headwind coming. I was going to throw my Dillo, but I think I'm changing it. Going to throw my blue bonnet again. I always baby this one. Like, so in uh, one of Robbie C's last videos, he talks about the big mistake that amateurs make, and he's right. I know I talk about Robbie C a lot, but he's right a lot, and I agree with him a lot. So I, I identify with him. I, I do the same thing. I, I baby throws. I'm like, oh, I'm going to throw it too long. I think more highly of myself than I ought, I guess. So don't baby it. Get it to the pin. If you go past, you go past. So the basket is right on the edge of those trees, straight out in front, like right in here. 201 feet downhill. Uh, I just heard chains. I'm not going to cut this. We're going to walk there and see. Sorry, this is going to take longer. And I'll turn it around. I am not cutting this. I'm not cutting this at all. Because I just heard chains. Let's go see if it stayed in. It did. It stayed in. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. That's a real ace. Oh, nobody was here to see it. Yeah, gone. Does it count if I don't cut? <laughs> I just aced hole number five at Scarborough. Cannot believe it. That's my first scored ace. So I'm going to get a picture right here. And there it is in the basket. Aced hole number five at Scarborough. We'll move on to hole six, but I got to get a picture right now. And that is why he says, don't leave it short. <laughs> yeah, have a chance to ace if you don't. Okay, 285 feet straight out in front of me. Uphill, I would say about 20 feet uphill. I'm going to throw my curl here.
All right, that was not ideal. You're gonna see me off screen here in some thorns. So we're just gonna take our medicine after that early tree kick. See if we can get it up there. All right, that's gonna be a bogey, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so that was a classic case of me telling myself not to do something on the tee pad and I overcompensated. So, sorry, I'm out of breath walking up that hill. It stinks getting old. So I told myself, don't yank over on this because the curl can turn easy and throw it into the woods. That had in my mind, let go. And that's exactly what I did. I let go and it ran right into that tree. I'm going to fix my mic here because the wind's kicking up. Try to keep it closer to my head. Let's see if that works. Okay. Don't be a hero here. This falls off after the basket. Just take the bogey and move on. Skip up. Okay. That'll be the bogey. Let's go put it out and move on to seven. And there it is. Let's see if we can do a POV from this distance. Yeah, not too bad. All right, hole seven, let's go. All right, hole number seven, 304 feet, straight out in the open, right on the edge of the woods out there. Throw my lariat here. Again, this one turns over. If I throw it to the right, let it fade to the left. Come out, come out. Eh, that's short, but we'll have a long putt, maybe 40 feet or so. All right, so I'm really bad at just judging distances off the tee. I'm about 25 foot out. Headwind coming toward me. Yeah, I got scared. Scared of the headwind. Got to give it a chance. Got to give it a chance. All right, that's the par. Move on to hole eight. All right, the penultimate hole. Hole number eight, 201 feet. I, I always struggle with the camera angle here because tee pad's high, ground where you are is low. So you should be able to see the red band through the trees there. I'll try to point it out in the video if you can't. Just get something up there. <clears throat> ah, okay, squared up that tree. Now we're scrambling for par. Somebody tell me what I did there that I didn't do on the other floors. I didn't warm up, right? So there's a tiniest gaps here. Oh, there's not much of anything. Well, let's see if we can do it. Get it through that gap right there. Nope. Oh. I'm going to take a bogey here, too. Should I lay it up around the corner? I don't think I had a shot for that. So that was really the only shot I had. These are the mistakes. We even recover from it though. All right, it's a little too long for a putt. So we want to try to throw it in here, maybe get the par. Ah, that was close enough. All right, we'll go tap that in for bogey. Move on to nine. There we are. There's the basket. All right, on to nine. All right, awful lighting here. Sorry about that. 212 feet straight ahead. Let's see if we can recover, right? I don't like bogeys at this course. There's really no reason for me to ever bogey here. But again, it happens. Two holes in the front nine bogeying is, is tough. But I think we're still two under right now. Two birdies and an ace. Two bogeys. So yeah, I think we're two under right now. So not bad. Not great, but not bad. So straight ahead, let's see if we can get it. Warm up, get your line, know where you're throwing it. Just a nice straight shot. Come out. Ah, clip the tree at the end there, but all right, let's go get it. All right, let's straddle out to the left here. Just put it up so we get the par. 
or run it. <laughs> ah, it was short. All right, let's go up and get the par and this one. All right, tap this in for the par. And there you have it. Front nine at Scarborough chasing 900 is done. Good and bad. Had some things that really a lot of good stuff. Two bad shots where I just didn't trust myself to hold on. I, I didn't do that on those two shots and, and I paid for it. So again, a lot of good in the front nine, a couple bad shots. Let's clean it up. Back nine's tougher, a lot harder to score there, but I, I think we'll hit 900. Um, I want to shoot for 950. We'll see what happens. Tune in next time. Hopefully I'll have this back nine drop in the next day after this one so you can get it right afterwards. But until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.